Now what I want to do, I'm going to take you on a, a, a little walk further up because you see right up on top of Wachago Road, a lot of people might miss this, but a lot of the locals know about it. There's an area where you can get really nice hotels at a reasonable price. And I'm talking around 30,000 Tanzanian shillings a night. Now for people coming from abroad, that, that, that is definitely a reasonable price. And especially if you're on a certain budget, you can make use of this deal. Now 30,000 is around nine pounds 50. Okay, that's pound sterling and it'll be around maybe 13 US dollars per night. That's 13 US dollars per night. So that'll be right, quite reasonable. I'm just going to do a quick detour to that area where you will find those hotels. So whenever you are in Tanzania, in Tanzania and you visit Arusha, you can definitely check them out. I'll see if I can give you an insight into what the rooms are are like in at least one of them so that would be great for you to get an idea of what you expect to get and it's in a very strategic location so you don't have to worry about the distance to get to town where we were you can get to town literally in the space of around five ten minutes and if you get a border border that's the motorcycle taxi that would only cost you around 1000 tanzanian shillings which is under one pound and under one US dollar. So that's quite affordable. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that street right now. So whenever you're in Arusha, depending on how long you're gonna be here, if you just wanna check out the place, see what the vibe is like, see if you like it yourself personally, then definitely try these hotels out at an affordable price. I always recommend you visit a place and really get an experience. I mean, I can do the vlogs, I show you the vibe, but it's nothing better than having a first hand experience of visiting a place. Okay, right now I'm currently at the beginning of Wachaga Road here in Arusha City. Now, across the road, literally across the street from Wachaga Road, you will find Father Babu Road. Okay, Father Babu Road. Now, you won't go down Father Babu Road. We'll go to the other side of the road and that's where you'll find the hotel. So let me give you a tour so you get an insight to what I'm saying. So I'm literally crossing the street, just waiting for these vehicles to give me a wait, to give way, and then we'll go across the street. Okay, I got an opportunity now, let's go. Okay. So this road here, down this way. It's Fa Father Babu Road, okay? That's this road here. So we were currently on Wachaga Road, which is over there, where that car is coming out. So if you're coming to these hotels, all you got to do is just let them know you want to come to Bawaziri Road. And a central point for you to remember is the Africana grand hotel because it's actually on this road so yeah that's all you have to do in terms of finding the place you can just even type in the africana grand hotel and it will take you to this place right now and you can make use of the uber app And also the Bolt app as well. So this is what it's like here. Has a bit of a local feel to it, but you do find some really reasonable hotels here and it's really not a far walk. So you don't have to worry about if you have to walk very far or not. It's, it's really in close distance. The noise you're hearing, this is actually a school here.
So literally, I haven't even been walking for 45 minutes on this road as yet. And already we can see one of the hotels I was telling you about. So this is the Africana Grand Hotel we're coming up to. And it usually starts around 55,000 Tanzanian shillings a night. That's around like 17 British pounds. So that'll be around, maybe around 20 US dollars. Okay, so this, this is what it looks like outside. I mean, it, it, do, it does look quite attractive from the outside. So let me give you a vibe of what the room lo looks like inside so you can see what you will get to pay for 55,000 Tanzanian shillings. So I'm just giving you guys a quick room tour here at the Africana Grand Hotel here in Arusha. And this is what you expect to pay for something like so it costs this room is around 55,000 Tanzanian shillings okay and it's probably around 20 22 pounds that's pound sterling and it'll probably be around 26 US dollars per night and this is what you expected to get they do offer Wi-Fi but so far I wouldn't say that Wi-Fi is that great I think you'll have to kind of go downstairs to get a better use of the Wi-Fi, but this is what the room's like. You do get a hot and cold shower. So this, this is the shower here. And we got the system set up. It's, it's all right, and the toilet is right here. You do find this a lot in Tanzania. Um, the toilet and the shower are all together. They don't usually put like a wall to separate them. So you do find this a lot. This is kind of like a regular thing, but this is what the shower area is like. So I arrived at night, guys. So this is this video is being done at night, but um, you do get a balcony as well. Let me see if I can show you what it's like outside. So I'm going to show you more of the outside area tomorrow because it's dark outside. But this is the room. You do get um, a television as well, with cable TV. And this is the bed, standard double. And you have the telephone as well. Classic type looking telephone right here, guys. But you can call for room service and stuff like that if you need it so this is pretty much what you can get now there are cheaper options available depending on your budget i guess something like this will be considered very much upscale here in tanzania um 55,000 tanzanian shillings i mean other places you can get rooms for 10,000 to 15,000 tanzanian shillings a night so this is something a bit more high end and I guess they're targeting a more international clientele but this is what you expect to pay if you come to the Africana Grand Hotel here in Arusha so I'm currently on the balcony of the hotel here the Africana Hotel here in Arusha and this is the view I'm getting from my balcony have a look at this So one of the first thing I've noticed about Arusha definitely it's definitely very green a lot of trees plants great vegetation in the area and right to my right that's the mountains up there so this is the view I'm getting from my hotel it's definitely a mountainous region and of course here is one of the starting points 
people will come when they're heading to go for a hike to Mount Kilimanjaro. So this is the vibe from the balcony of the hotel. Okay, so I hope you've got an insight into what you can get. Now, across the street, you could even get hotels at a more affordable price. And these hotels, some of them come with Wi-Fi, hot and cold shower, hot shower, which is good, especially in this region at night, it gets cold. So having a hot shower will be great. And there's literally this road, there's just a ray, a row of various hotels. Now the first one is called Pretty Alice Lodge. Okay, and it's for my experience with them, quite good. Wi-Fi is great, good service, and I'll show you what a room inside here is like. Stay tuned to this space. Okay, guys, so you've seen what the outside was like. So at the Pretty Alice Hotel here, this is what you will expect to pay for 30,000 Tanzanian shillings a night. And they do do the wonderful courtesy of really trying to be creative in, um, you know doing the making the bed so this looks really lovely wi-fi is included you have a table here in case you have to do work or anything like that and there's also like a small i'll say it's probably around 14 inch flat screen tv and you get like the local channels but of course if you have um wi-fi i guess you may want to watch something on your laptop or phone as well and this is the shower okay so this is what you expect to get what's convenient is that they provide hot a hot shower as well so that's really good especially when it gets cold in the evenings so this is what the shower is like and there's also of course here the sink where you'll obviously brush your teeth wash your hands and the toilet is literally right here so usually you will find uh, in a lot of places in, in here in Tanzania the toilet the shower is not separated at all in one room like that so that's usually the vibe here so yeah this is what you will get for 30,000 Tanzanian shillings a night which is quite good and in my in my view it's reasonable of course you can depending on your budget you can get something more upscale if you want but if you're on a certain budget but you want something close to the city in Arusha and you have the convenience of Wi-Fi as well. And they do provide breakfast in the morning. Basic breakfast, basically, like you can get tea, um, tam, ginger tea. They also have milk. And they also provide tea bags as well. And fruit juice. It's not like a variety of fruit juice. You might get, like, mango juice. The next day, they might do orange. And they can also do for you a boiled egg or fried eggs and they provide bread and butter as well so basic breakfast but there are many amazing restaurants around where you can go out to eat so this is what you can get for 30,000 Tanzanian shillings per night okay I hope you have found that insightful and as we w walk down this street here you'll find more hotels similar to like the one you've just seen some of them are a bit cheaper but the standards get a bit lower in my opinion but it's it depends on your taste you can get a room the cheapest you can get a room here for is around 25,000 Tanzanian shillings per night or maybe 20,000 that's really pushing it but I think you if you really want something good you're looking at something from 30,000 to yeah from 25 to 30 thousand tanzanian shillings a night so these are just as you can see this is another one we're coming up to here so in my view i mean having knowledge of this is quite good because if you're coming to arusha sometimes arusha is the other hotels they're really high budget not high budget but you know high price and you may want to stay here a bit longer just to explore the place to see if you can maybe live here longer or get to know the place some more. But if, a, if the hotel price is too high, then that might put you off. So these ones, 
it's quite good they're very secure they have security guards at night you got the maasai wa warriors guard in the place so you're safe like selassie's briefcase they say so yeah this is it this is another one koi is in so literally on this street is just hotels after hotels and they're also little like local style bars as well nearby if you want to get your throat moist with some drinks and um it's close to town you can't go wrong with that i mean yes for some they might they might not like that the road is not paved but it's, it's generally fine i mean to walk to the main road you literally it takes you a minute so you won't be on this road for very long and then you're back on the main paved road so that's quite good these are local food joints right here So this is just another exit way we can i could have went the other way where we came initially you don't have to come this side but as i was showing you the other hotels i came out on this side so we're back on the main road and you can see And there are, there, there are a lot of restaurants nearby these hotels where you can come. We're even coming up to one right now. Okay, guys, so food and all of that w won't be a problem. And of course, if you're going on a safari, if that's your thing, then from here is a, a great base. So this is Florida 2000 and it's a bar and restaurant so so many of them in arusha many bars and restaurants are in arusha so you can't go wrong with that so this is the high road very near to the hotels you've just seen so when you of course come off the dirt road you're back on the main road these are some of the places near here and like I've said you'll find many various businesses here ranging from restaurants barbers different shops so it's for a choice like right now this is cafe lazine and you can get different food here like biryani different drinks fruit juices and all of that and if you don't like you know the dirt road there are also hotels literally on this road here near the main road like for example here we have Rafiki launch and they all look similar to the the room that you've seen previously it's another bar we're coming up to there here this is called light you could get different uh, this is where people really just come for to drink but you can also get food there as well local food ugali and different things like that and if you're looking for something a bit more high-end for those who bu budget can stretch more then this here is the silver palm hotel so definitely check them out they will be on booking.com and different things so you can see what the rooms like but it's called silver palm hotel and think it starts for non for Tanzanians Tanzanians it will be around 95,000 Tanzanian shillings a night but for foreigners it's around non Tanzanians it's around 60 US dollars per night to stay at this hotel here the silver palm And another Im important landmark if you want to you know to know where you are where you can come to see these places you've just seen all you have to do is 
asked to be taken to the Arusha Lutheran Medical Center. And that's the medical center across the street here. Lutheran, Arusha Lutheran Medical Center. And literally, it's a landmark where you can find the all the, these various hotels you've seen. And so, for example, this is the medical center and the silver hotel is literally across the street from from here so it's very very convenient location very easy to find guys and there's just a lot of them dotted around even right here right here look baraka inn bed and breakfast another one and right next to it there's safari barbecue and restaurant so guys you you, you can't go wrong being at this spot if, if you're looking for something reasonable price, definitely check out this area. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. I do trust that you have found today's vlog insightful and you have learned some things, some of the places where you can stay, some places where you can eat, and a real insight into the local culture here in terms of where people shop and different things like that. So I appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos. And thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani.